Uh, just came in the area, but uh, I want to do it right here. The legislator, you know, the people's house where everybody is welcome. Yeah. Uh, you know, politics is bullshit. And uh, it doesn't matter if it's municipal, provincial, or federal. It's all bullshit. Let me see here. Do a rant. I might get lucky. They might come out and throw me out. That hasn't happened in years. Ever since Dan Bichias taken his medication. Okay, Charles LeBlanc here. There we go. Uh, we're in front of the legislator. I want to do a little rant. Now this... The city of Fredericton is talking about cycling. Cycling, you know, they, they want people to stay in shape and cycle. They got beautiful trails and they're promoting this city like the green city. Behind these walls, this is where Frank McKenna in 1995 passed a law that everyone that rides a bicycle will have to wear a helmet from, the, from when you're born to when you die. You must wear a helmet. Myself, I rode a bicycle across Canada, around the Maritimes, across the states. And during the time of when Frank McKenna wanted this, I lobbied, I said, Frank, you cannot, maybe 16 years or less, or younger, but not everyone. See, for lobbyists to make all kinds of money. I said, what's going to be next? Elbow pad, knee pads. You have to wear a goalie equipment to ride a bicycle. Anyway, Frank never listened to me. And it never crossed my mind that in future years to come, that the Fredericton police will use that avenue to go after certain culture. Welfare bums, Indians. I'm still waiting for the first Syrians to be shot dead during, uh, excuse me for one second. Is this, is that what I think it is? Excuse me for one second. Uh, Oh, I thought that was the park patrol or the rat patrol. No, I call them the park patrol. That's not I was gonna wait because this is the last shit, should have left well enough alone. This is gonna be the last day that the uh, park patrol is gonna be on the trails. Anyway, sorry I got distracted. ADHD. But the bottom line is there we go. The bottom line is, the police are going after a certain individual who dares to ride a bicycle, who dares to exercise in the city of Fredericton. The city of Fredericton is the only city around the world. We are, I, I would start to call them racist, racist mayor, Fredericton mayor, new mayor, Michael Bryan, before he got elected he was crying about the homeless, the homeless. Now he's teaming up with Bruce McCormick from downtown Fredericton that calls the, low, the, the homeless low life. But Mike is a two-faced, but you know, anyway, never mind. I'm getting very distracted. Anyway, yesterday in the Fredericton Irving paper, I saw this. Where is it? Oh, here it is. City of Fredericton launched biking felicit felicities improvement plan. Now, there's an idiot. What's his name? Uh, I should have my glasses. Uh, John Lewis. John Lewis. He's a city traffic engineer. City traffic engineer. There he's saying how important it is for to have people use a bicycle in this city. There he is saying, well, we want the input from the public. We want the input to uh, have Queen Street, King Street, you know, be bike friendly, free and all that. Now, 
They want the input from the public. We've been doing this for years. He's crying, he's saying, by the way, uh, since he's in, since he's in the Irving, since he's in the Irving paper, whatever. Anyway, boy, this is, I'm getting distracted here, sorry. This engineer wants the input from the public. Now, can you just imagine? He turns around, how are you doing? Let me open, let me open the door. As I said, too much distraction. I just seen a commissioner outside that door. Moody Quebecois. Anyway, they, if they want the city of Fredericton to really take this issue seriously, it's simple. People are avoiding the trails. Today, August the 18th, the evening of a full moon, the Red Pat the Park Patrol. It's no more. They're gonna be done for the season. Starting tomorrow, August 19, everybody's gonna go on the trails. Exercise and exercise till the cold, the snow hits. But how come we cannot, the people don't use the trail during the summer months? Because they don't want to be harassed by the rat patrol, I mean the park patrol. They don't wanna be harassed, so they go downtown. So it's called common sense. Leave the, let the people use the trail. I've been saying this for years. Let them exercise. Let them feel free to ride their bike. But no, they won't do that. The police will hunt down the Indians, hunt down the welfare bumps. And I can't wait for the first Syrian to be, boom, tased or shot dead because of language barrier. Since there's no police can. Oh, getting out of hand here again. So bottom line, this idiot, what's his name again? I don't want to know. He goes around, oh, we want the public input. It's simple. Let the people exercise on the trail without a bicycle helmet. Sorry about this long with the conversation, too many distractions. In front of the people's house. Yeah, right, people's house. I'm surprised they don't have a big lock between these two doors.